What's up guys? It's Susie Bullock from HeyGrillHey.com and if you're watching this video, that means we already have the most important thing in common. We both love good barbecue, which is perfect because here at Hey Grill Hey, my whole goal is to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. Today we are making grilled sweet potatoes with a chipotle lime dipping sauce. All in all, it takes about 30 minutes, five minutes prep time, 25 minutes cooking, and you have an awesome side dish for anything you're throwing on the barbecue. Super simple, let's get started. All you really need, four sweet potatoes, then you need a couple tablespoons of olive oil, a couple tablespoons of my chicken seasoning, and then we're gonna make the chipotle lime dipping sauce. This is three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise, one chipotle pepper, a teaspoon of the adobo sauce that comes in that chipotle peppers can, and the juice of one lime. The first thing we do is bring a large pot of water to boil, and then we're gonna gently slide in our sweet potatoes. These typically need about 12 to 15 minutes to cook for the first step. Mine are kind of thick, I'll do more towards that 15 minute mark. That way they won't be cooked all the way through, but they'll be really tender inside. Our potatoes are out of the water. Just take your knife and just cut them into about half inch thick slices. That way you'll get some nice texture on the outside from the grill and the skin will have time to get nice and crispy. Just laying these out on a cookie sheet, it'll make them really easy to baste with oil and make sure we season them evenly on all sides. Yes, they all fit. <laughs> all right, take your olive oil and a basting brush and just make sure that you get all of those sweet potato rounds hit with a little bit of that oil. So the olive oil is going to help make sure that the sweet potatoes don't stick to the grill grates and it's also gonna help the seasoning stick to the top of our sweet potatoes. This seasoning is one of my favorite vegetable seasonings. I know it says chicken on the bottle, but it has rosemary, it has thyme, it has garlic and onion, and these herbs are really such a nice complement to the sweetness of these potatoes. All right, just flip them over and repeat on the other side with olive oil and some more of the seasoning. Once our potatoes are prepped, we're gonna set them aside for just a minute and make our dipping sauce before we head out to the grill. It's super simple, only four ingredients, and it comes together really quickly. I'll be doing mine in a blender, you can do this in a food processor, anything works really. This is kind of a play on Utah's most beloved condiment. It's called fry sauce, but it's typically a mayo base, and then they mix in ketchup or Thousand Island dressing. Everyone has their own way of doing fry sauce. So we've added a chipotle pepper, and then this is the liquid from the can of chipotles. It's called adobo sauce. And it is spicy, and it is smoky, and it is gonna give this dipping sauce the perfect little kick. And then we're just gonna add in the juice of one lime. Put the lid on your blender, set it to medium. It's only gonna take about five to 10 seconds until that chipotle pepper is broken down and the sauce is a nice, smooth consistency. It's creamy, it's a little bit tangy from that lime, and you get the smoky heat from the chipotles, which are actually just smoked jalapenos. So you get a little kick and you get that smoky goodness. It's gonna go so good with these sweet potatoes. Just transfer this into anything you can dip in, a small bowl, and then set it aside until you're ready to serve your sweet potatoes. Now that our sauce is done, let's head out to the grill. Okay, we have got our grill preheated perfectly 450 degrees, and we are just gonna put our seasoned sweet potatoes right on the grates. What the grill's going to do at these high temperatures is actually draw some of the sugars out of the sweet potato, so they'll taste even sweeter than if you were to just boil them. And what we're really looking for here is texture and flavor, because these sweet potatoes are technically cooked, they've been parboiled, but what we want to do is crisp up the outside and finish cooking the inside. All the sweet potatoes are on there, we're gonna close these up, let them grill. They're only gonna take about three to five minutes, so don't go anywhere, stay close by, and just bask in all the glorious grilled sweet potato smells. <laughs> all right, it's been two to three minutes, it's time to open up the lid and see what these babies look like. Okay, 
Now we're ready to start flipping. You'll start to see these edges caramelize and brown. The garlic and the herbs and the seasoning are gonna start to caramelize and darken and it's gonna smell so, so good. All right, these are starting to get crispy on the outside and I can feel with the tongs that they're pretty soft so I know they're gonna be nice and creamy and fluffy on the inside. We've got them all flipped, close the lid, give them another three or four minutes just to finish cooking on the other side and that's it, they're done. <laughs> You've been waiting. Hello. <laughs> you got you got the chipotle lime sauce. I am ready. I came with the sweet potatoes. Let's do this. Okay, let me know what you think. You first. Okay. Woo. Oh, those are good. A little bit spicy. All the herbs. Super creamy bite on the inside, and you get those crispy edges on the outside. It's like perfect. It's like fry sauce with a kick. Yeah. We want you to make this recipe at home because our whole goal is to help you make better barbecue, feed the people you love, and become a backyard barbecue hero. So if you make this recipe, make sure to take a picture, leave a comment, better yet, tag us on social media using the hashtag HeyGrillHey. That way we can see it and revel in your barbecue success. Tag me. Tag Todd. Hashtag Todd. <laughs>